Up next is a heavyweight battle between Tim Kronk and Manuel Garcia. Tim Kronk has many accolades in his sporting career, but most come from the gridiron. This former CFL player and Grey Cup champion electrified the amateur MMA circuit with quick knockouts and now looks to bring his elite power to Canadian soil as a pro for the first time. Manuel Garcia. With his heavy hands ready to throw, he looks to stop Kronk in his tracks. Don't blink during this heavyweight tilt. This is Tim Kronk versus Manuel Garcia. As an amateur, he had one fight go just over two minutes and the rest were basically seconds, finishes. One fight ended, exited the second and as I said, his pro debut was just a 20 second loss, but he looks to change that. See the tail of the tape right here, Kronk three years older, has the height advantage and the weight advantage, and as well a big reach advantage. So the, the, the stats go against for, go for Krom, but this should be an absolute banger. The next bout is brought to you by Honey Badger Extracts. <laughs> this is a heavyweight contest scheduled for three rounds. Interesting first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker. He stands five feet seven inches tall. He weighed in at 240 pounds even. With a record of three wins, one defeat. Fighting out of Monterrey, Mexico. Representing living legacy MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Manuel Garcia. victory in his second contest in mixed martial arts. Hailing from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Representing Savage Muay Thai. Please welcome Tim Crump. The man in charge of letting the big boys bang. Please welcome Brian Beauchamp. Veteran referee Brian Beauchamp, the third and final man inside the BTC cage as the big boys are about to throw down. And I'm now joined by our ring announcer and long staple mixed martial artist, the Polish hammer, Chris Horodecki. Chris, welcome to the broadcast booth. Hey man, multiple duties today. Multiple, sir, there we go. Multiple duties today, guys. Um, nice to be here behind the desk, watching the screen and watching these big boys let the hands fly i don't expect this going <laughs> to the three rounds no i i don't expect it maybe even to come out of the second round as both these men are finishers as i was saying before Kronk, his amateur career basically were all first round finishes and garcia he just throws bombs right yeah i saw garcia warming up outside i actually when i was in the hotel this morning all the mexicans were training outside just basking in the heat giving themselves <laughs> a little bit of self acclimatization to that sun and to that heat and uh, you know it's just a comfortable territory and fighting for them this is this is no uh, this is not a place that they don't know where they are they they know fighting they know boxing they know mixed martial arts and they're damn good at it as we've seen so far tonight as here good leg kick Ooh. there from Kronk and Kronk's pushing forward almost on top of us right now big knee from wow. Kronk and Garcia wow. is hurt Muay Thai clinch in effect here from Tim Kronk Short elbow from Garcia, trying to make distance, trying to get inside that tie clinch. He's got to get himself off that cage. And that's a big man that has a big weight advantage and size advantage on him to Tim Kronk on Garcia. Yeah, but over 20 pound weight advantage with these guys. Oh, looking for the power slam. <laughs> Almost looked like the world. Oh! There's Garcia on top now after the failed takedown attempt from Kronk. Let's see how Garcia does on the mat. Garcia trying oh, to take man. the back. Didn't have the real estate to do that. No, no, just a little bit tight for space. But enough space right no. now to throw some hands. Good uppercuts from Kronk. 
Oh Big right hand from Kronk. Kronk pouring it on, but Garcia's eating these shots. Yeah. Tim's liking that Muay Thai clinch. He seems very, very comfortable there. Well, he's training at a, at a Muay Thai gym, as you yeah. said there, Chris Savage, in uh, Kingston, Ontario. And oh, there's oh. a big knee. Those knees are sliding through. That one looked like it really hurt Garcia, but he still stays on his feet. Kronk taking his time wisely now. Not trying to rush anything. And Kronk comes from a great athletic background, as we said before. Played university football in Canada. Won a great cup with the BC Lions, yeah. and there's a big elbow. Couldn't do that in the CFL. Perfectly legal here in the BTC cage. Ha, that's it. You know, this is this is a, a similar violence, controlled violence, uh, a little different than football. But the athletics, like football players, the athletics that they display, the size, you know, the power that they have to have to play in that sport, it transitions very well to MMA. Especially the footwork too. And someone like Tim Kronk, he mostly played on special teams, was a fullback as well. You got to be quick off the line to make plays for your teammates or play yourself. Yeah. No. And. Using your size right now, exactly, like what he's doing right here. He's using that size, that 20 pound weight advantage. He's keeping Garcia on the oh, cage, but the but elbows good, are coming over. Good gar elbow from Garcia, but Kronk goes right back to the knee. Garcia, he can definitely take some punishment as well. When you, He's also fought bare knuckle MMA and Muay Thai in Mexico. Yeah. So punches with gloves really may not have the effect as on most fighters. No. No, it looks like he's definitely been in a fight before. Maybe whether or not it's been in the cage, <laughs> ring, street. He, um, he, he knows what he's doing in there in a scrap situation. Yeah, he, he looks comfortable. He looks damn comfortable. He's not phased at all, right? He's been rocked a little bit. The weight pressed on him. There's been some knees that have slipped through in that tie clinch by Tim. Uh, but he's still standing, Garcia. Now we'll see how Tim Kronk does because he's a short action athlete as we said yeah. from his football days but his fights have basically been 45 seconds to a minute he's never really had to go really long in these fights and we wonder how oh his gas tank God. is as now garcia is pouring it on wow yeah this is it right now you see uh, the heavyweights at this size with a fight like that who's brought the better gas tank oh and what Kronk is hurt Kronk is a little wobble maybe oh, yeah. fatigued but he's still dangerous here He's still got rockets in those hands. And he's looking to find that chin. Garcia calling him on, let's go baby, let's go. Kronk had a little bit of the stanky leg there, trying to get some breath back. Good left hook there from Garcia. Big knee oh from Garcia. God. And now it's just the wildness that you expect out of these heavyweights sometimes. Kronk now pushing forward again. 10 seconds left to go here in the opening round. Kronk using that big size advantage to see a second round and what an opening round we saw, Chris. Incredible, incredible round. Both guys had their moments. Both guys rocked the other one. Um, right now, this is gonna be the telltale sign, like who's able to recover better? Who's been able to recover better? Who's done the sprints? Who's done the extra road work, right? Who's been out there? Um, it's going to come into play right now. Who's been able to get that heart rate down, calm themselves. So you can take in what your corner's saying to you. Your corner's giving you advice. They're trying to make they paint this picture of what's happening in there, what they're seeing from that third person. They're trying to draw the picture up for you. Uh, and if you're not in shape, and if, you're, if your head's shake, uh, rocking side to side, and the picture's blurry, it's tough to you know, take in those commands and take in those instructions. Well, here's a stat for you, Chris. This is the first time since Tim Kronk's second amateur fight that he'll see a second round. The one pro MMA fight that Garcia has, that was a third round finish. So while maybe when you look at the, what Garcia looks like, you judge the book by the cover, but Garcia's got the cardio and the ability so far proven to push, and we'll see what Tim Kronk can do. But look at the damage on yep. both these men's face. Yep, no, they're both, they're both feeling the effects of that first round. It's going to be interesting who's seeing. We're here in the corner saying, push the pace, push the pace. I think both of the corners are saying the same thing. I don't speak Spanish, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what they're saying. Well, you've done a good job rolling your R's tonight, Chris. <laughs> Trying to make it feel like home. <laughs> Touching the gloves and we're on the way. Second round. Second round is underway in this heavyweight bout. Popping that jab is Garcia. Garcia definitely weathered the storm in that first round and has the space to work with now. 
Good leg kick though from Kronk. And you know, fighters that are this size, they, they sometimes oh. they depend so much on the hooks and the, the left hooks, the right hooks, the overhands. Keeping that jab, I would like to see either of them. Oh, oh, oh man. Big combo just missing with the knee. That time was Garcia. Yeah, they're not given any time to really play the outside game, right? Now we're seeing the toughness that Tim Kronk has. Has the knee again. Big knee. Kronk is oh, down. My God. Kronk, hammer fist from Garcia, and that is it. Quick work again. Big performance from Manuel Garcia. Moves to 2-0 and oh as a professional. Ate some big shots early, but picks up a victory in his fight, first fight outside of Mexico. Uh, he brought it. He brought it. He came here. Like I said, I saw these guys. They just, they, they got a different mindset. You know, where a lot of fighters in Canada, they wouldn't want to be outside. They don't want to get that heat. Start feeling themselves drain come fight time. These boys were working out, smashing mitts, wrestling outside in the parking lot. No word of a lie. These guys have a different mindset, that fighter mentality. The cowboy hat's on. He's got his hand. He's going to get his hand raised in a second. I'm going to call his name right now. Yeah, get inside that cage, Chris Horadecki. But what a performance here for Manuel Garcia. The Mexicans get their second win of the evening as Garcia, he took a lot of punishment early on. Looked like Kronk had him in trouble towards the early portions of that first round. But questioning about maybe the gas tank there of Tim Kronk. Tim Kronk took some good shots, but just too much, too many. And as we said, when you have the background that Manuel Garcia does have, where he has the ability of fighting in before with bare knuckle fights, He's had a third round finish in his lone mixed martial arts fight. Sure, three years away, but this is a very skilled heavyweight. Don't judge the book by its cover. This guy comes to get it. He's got dynamite in his hands and with an explosive second round finish here at BTC 20. Let's make it official with Chris Horadecki. The big boys came and the big boys brought it. victory for Manuel Garcia took some punishment pushed forward and then found his way to wear down Ladies Tim Kronk and, and beat Manuel. the former Canadian Here's Football League and Red Cup right champion we have a proposal right now going on inside the BTC cage I believe she said Woo! yes. So a massive night continues for Manuel Garcia. First win in Canada, 2-0 as a professional mixed martial artist and a soon-to-be husband. Unbelievable. One of the best moments in BTC history. Yeah, put that ring on. Fantastic. Best night goes on here for Manuel Garcia. Brian Boucher, yeah, make sure you bring in the ring box. Manuel, you want to say something? I don't know. Fuerte. Ya sabíamos que es lo que teníamos que hacer. Nada, estoy feliz de regresar a Canadá. De demostrar a la gente de Canadá que es más grande que Ocho Garcia. What do you say there? I knew what we came here to do. So I'm glad to be back here in Canada you uh, what happened. I hope it be back there. Man, you had it, man. You had it. You had the power. You weren't faced by nothing. This guy came hard. He came heavy. You finished with the knockout. What can be expected next from you? No, no. Yo siempre trabajo de menos o más. Espero que su oponente saque sus mejores golpes y empiece a trabajar. Muchas veces es mi estrategia. Can't wait to have you back in the BTC cage. Give it up for Manuel Garcia and his beautiful fiance. A knockout win and a bride to be, baby. Give it up.
So one of the best moments in BTC history. Right there as Manuel Garcia proposes to his longtime girlfriend, now soon to be wife, the fiance. And more importantly, Manuel Garcia found a way to come through and showcase that Muay Thai. We knew he said he was a Sanchin fighter, but showcased his Muay Thai there, putting the finishing touches on Tim Cronk's.